Hi everyone, I'm going to talk to you today about building a wedging table. Specifically, I'm going to build a personal wedging table. It's going to be a very small wedging table and it's going to be big enough for one person to use or two people to use at an interval. It will be just small enough where it can be put away uh, so it won't like take up an entire room. I mean normally if you see wedging tables in ceramic studios, I mean they're probably 10 feet long and they're you know used to hold all kinds of stuff, you know, clays, uh, bagged up clay, big sheets of plaster that you can put your clay on, uh, mold, molding type stuff and uh, strings for cutting clay and of course for wedging but uh, I don't really have a need for a big table so I'm gonna create a small wedging table okay so I'm gonna show you my wedging table that I drew out real quick uh, this is sort of my plans for it it's gonna have a flat 24 by 24 inch surface here there's going to be 31 inch legs coming down and there's going to be a support uh, going across these along the bottom also as well just to give it more weight and give it more support but the great thing about this is this whole thing is going to take up 24 inches if it goes according to plan okay there will be an extended board here that will have a, a piece of wire coming down which will be used to like cut the clay in half and then the wedging will happen here on the table in this area here. So as you can see, I basically I'm spelling out everything I'm going to need. I've got my canvas, which is going to cover the base of the uh, wedging table. Uh, I've got my uh, different pieces of wood that I'm going to need, and I'm probably going to end up needing some more. But that's part of it. You kind of go as you build as you go sometimes. Uh, but it's going to work out great. I'll walk you through real quick what I've got so far. Okay, so here we go. Let's start off with this. This is the uh, 24 inch um, flat top. That's going to be the top of the wedging table. And then I've got some 2x4s here and I'm going to cut them to length for the different uh, sizes that I need. 31 inches long. This is my roll of canvas. I've had this roll of canvas for probably 10 years now. I've been threatening to make a big giant painting out of it, uh, which I've done before, but this is like an extra one that I got. It would be perfect for this uh, project. And of course, I've got my metal wire here that's going to stretch across and actually use, be used to cut the clay. Uh, I'm about to start cutting this up and assembling it and seeing what else I need to complete this project. All right, 31 inches. Got a clean cut and 31 inch, 31 inch piece of wood. It's gonna come to about right here. Uh, that way it'll be easy for me to wedge and throw onto the table and have a really good height ratio uh, to work with. It's not gonna be too low, it's not gonna be too high. It's gonna be even with my waistline, or below my waistline. This is the second leg of four that we'll be cutting. Make a solid set. Very good. I've got my four pieces of wood here. These are 31 inch, uh, 31 inches long. They will be the legs for my 24 by 24 wedging table. Well, just to give you an update, I had to go get two more two by fours. Okay, it's coming to go coming along. I've got all my uh, got my base nailed together. Got my uh, wood custom fitting inside of it and all nailed down together and the legs are sticking up. And now I'm working on getting these uh, support support beams across. I'm going to add another one here and then all the way around. Really make it sturdy.
All right, I'm uh, trying to finish this up. I'm putting these uh, support braces on this bottom part of this, and uh, it's coming along. It's pretty sturdy. I just gotta shore it up a little bit more. Finish putting in the nails, uh, lining this up a little bit more, and uh, seeing what kind of support. Maybe I need to have a support piece of wood underneath here. Uh, but we'll get to that point. Sturdy. I'm gonna put this little nail right in right here. Make sure we didn't go through. No. Nope. Nothing good. I've officially used up a box of nails. Luckily, there is another box. We've got our 24 inches by 24 inches. This is a pretty small wedging table. Uh, I think it's unique for this size room or this size home studio. It's going to work out great. It's going to give me plenty of room to be able to do anything I need to do with clay as far as like wedging it and sorting clay. I still got to add the beam here on the side, which is going to come up and then go across. And there'll be like a little fisheye thing here with a wire going across it. And that'll be to use to cut the clay in half. All right. Roll of canvas. I've had this hanging out of hanging around in my house like forever like I've had this probably 10 years just been hanging on to it uh, it's 72 
inches by six yards and it's uh, it's going to be more than enough to cover this table so basically I'm going to cut this out fit it to the size of the table and then I'm going to attack it into the sides of the table and I'm going to surround the table with these little slices of wood I got them cut uh, so they'll fit and like I say they'll just basically go all the way around the table the canvas will wrap um, around the table itself and these pieces of wood will actually be there more of anything is like for cosmetic okay so I figured out what I'm gonna do is I'm going to stretch it just like you would stretch a normal frame canvas I'm going to stretch it across this table uh, so I'm going to cut out 28 inches from here to here and that's going to give me um, some room on either side to do a 28 inch square and then I'll proceed to stretch it with the actual tacks that I have um, that are usually used for stretching a, a painted canvas. Okay, 28 inches. Okay, so as you can see, the table is here. I'm going to cover it with this canvas. Then I'm going to put a piece of wood all the way around it. I've got these little tacks, which are great for uh, stretching canvas. And I'm going to use these. They're basically these carpet tacks. Okay, here's where I'm at. Stretching from the center out on all four sides. I've got these first two sides done. I've still got to get these. As you can see, that's really loose. When I get that pulled in tight, I'll pull it this way, tack it, pull it this way, tack it. And then what it does is it slowly works itself out to where it's a perfect uh, smooth, flat edge. Alright, so as you can see, I've went all the way around this table. This is exactly as tight as I can get it. I left a few little spaces, but it's okay. I mean, it's pulled tight. That's the main thing. It's going to be a flat surface, and it's going to be able to be used for wedging. Now I'm going to put the side strips on this side. Okay, I've got my first piece of wood lined up. We're going to put that side panel on this back here, but for this, I'm going to put this in here. It's going to give me a really cool looking... Okay, well, we'll see. I'm going to use a little bit smaller nail. And hopefully, this will work. Perfect. It actually looks really good too, so halfway. Okay, so this is the back of it right here. Um, and this board's gonna extend up and let's see if I can show you to where, probably to right here. So that's gonna be like a good foot and a half. I'm gonna, uh, this piece of wood here will actually go 
across here. I'm gonna use the one that actually split when I use that bigger screw. And that's gonna give it that really fine uh, finished look all the way around. But I'm gonna cut this off here. Then on the end, that way it'll be even. Okay, I've cut this wood and now it's to size, it's the right size it needs to be. And I'm gonna nail this to this. Okay, well I've got my wood attached and I'm going to drill into here and then attach my eye hook. And then from there I'm going to do another one down here and then I'm going to attach my wire here. It's 20 gauge wire. I hope it's thick enough. If it's not, then I'll just get some, some more wire. Really, I'm just trying to go deep enough to sort of get it started because I don't want it to be too easy for it. Maybe right there. All my space. Here to here, that's that should be plenty good. And put that clay through there. Okay, perfect. And I'm going to attach the string and this baby will be done. Better wire, but we will see. Maybe it will hold up. cutting it's gonna be cutting through wet clay so it's not like it's gonna make it as taut as possible. Alright, let me trim it up. Okay guys, this is the finished wedging table. Uh, it took all day to make it. Uh, it turned out really good. I'm super excited about it and I hope you enjoyed my video. Please subscribe to my videos, videos if you want to see more. I'm planning on making a bunch of videos about throwing uh, vessels and pots and making cool stuff like this to use in your own personal studio. Great thing about this is it's small, it's compact, it'll fit in the house and it'll do what needs to be done. Have a great day.